That takes us to the salt zone. Uh, this is where anyone from the group can just vent their spleen, get it out. Let's be done with it. I have nothing to add to the salt zone for this week. I am good. Uh, does anyone have anything to add? Katie wants to go last. Tweak wants to go first. Go for it, Tweak. All right. I'll get this out right now. So some of you may have heard this story already, but a lot of you haven't probably. I personally... <sighs> But how do I say this? I guess. All right. So my parents were children of the 50s and 60s, right? I was a child of the 70s and 80s. I was raised to have an open mind, to think about things, but to also not be afraid to speak up when things are wrong, which is what I've done on this show. I feel like I, I tell the truth. I, I call things. I get excited when I think things are going to be good. I call things out when things are not so good. I've been very critical of FDev of late, and justifiably so, I believe. I think they've made nothing but errors since Odyssey release, and actually probably because of the design, go back even before that. But they've reached another level to me where they are banning people in the chat left and right for just asking questions. And now they made that forum post about, you know, no threats, no harassment, yada, 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 all that. And I totally agree with that. Nobody should be messaging the devs or even the community managers and cussing at them, making threats, any of that kind of stuff. But I can honestly say all I did in Tuesday's live stream on Twitch, all I did in that chat was ask three or four hard questions. I asked, is there any comment about the number of play, the, the player loss that you're seeing uh, across all platforms. Is there any comment about the content creator loss you're seeing? I asked, uh, they started promoting the Thursday pirate stream. And I said, oh, yay, a pirate stream. That's what we need right now. Is there any news about future content? And then I look down at the chat and boom, I'm banned. Now, I was a little sarcastic. Yes, I didn't swear. I didn't make a threat. I didn't call anybody by name. And if that's what they are resorting to, if they are banning people that are critical, that have actual thoughts about what's wrong and are just, just expressing that in a polite manner, and they're banning those people, then they're trying to control the narrative. To me, that is... That is the actions of a company that is faulty. They are being deceitful, and I can no longer support them at all. So I will still play Elite Dangerous, but I, I no longer can support FDev in any manner, shape, or form at this point in time. So that thing where you got banned, that was actually a day or two before. That was the day before they announced that they were banning people, right? Correct. Because they banned you on Tuesday, and they announced that they would be banning people on Wednesday. Correct. My, I don't, okay. I'm 100% in favor of the statement that no one should be threatening any of the staff at Frontier. People should not be direct messaging the staff at Frontier with, like, complaints and whatever people should not be going on the frontier forums or the their their twitter or their twitch stream or their youtube stream to sort of go out of line with them however i will say this Adding a permaban is sort of a, a big club. It's a big weapon that they've just given now the moderators for their YouTube stream, their Twitch stream, and their Frontier forums. And as I saw posted by both Ben Moss Woodward of Lave Radio and Suverine, Commander Suverine of uh, Sagai Magazine, the, the editor of Sagai Magazine, both of them open or posted in a thread that Ben actually started saying, like, who watches the watchers? Because we have seen multiple abuses by forum moderators who 
basically bully and sort of discriminate and act in a very, very unfair and, and incorrect manner to silence and 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 dismiss and throw away anything that they don't like. Uh, we've seen it with multiple people, including myself. I caught a ban from the Frontier Forums for saying, because I said that the, the book, the, the story of Raxla is based on the, the Robert Hallstock's book or, or pamphlet, the, the Dark Wheel novella. And that story was based on a book that he had published like two years before under the pen name Robert Eisler, or Stephen Eisler, rather, who um, it was this trippy sort of pothead sci-fi crazy kind of book that you got a lot in the 70s and early 80s where it was like it had weird like kitschy pop art and whatever and it was like holy shit like you know weird like 1950s andy warhol type um imagery or 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 what's that not andy warhol um the guy uh uh, uh the guy you know it's a wonderful life the guy who did those uh, norman rockwell Norman Rockwell type imagery, but like it's mother and father at, at, at uh, the breakfast table or whatever. And the kids sitting there, but father happens to be like a six foot tall cockroach. You're like, like weird trippy shit like that. And so I, some guy went on the forums and was like, Steve, David Braben's a member of a cult because this part from the toast of the dark wheel is actually kind of a thing that's from a cult thing. So uh, David Braben's a member of a secret cult. And I was like, dude, relax. David Braben didn't write any of this shit. It was written by a guy named Robert Holdstock. Uh, and, you know, he wrote this, like, 70s, early 80s pothead story, sci-fi story book. And this, this is where all this stuff comes from. So relax with your secret theory that David Braben is an occult. He's a, a Satanist or whatever. The forum moderators took that opportunity to say, Oh, you mentioned drugs, therefore... You're permanently banned from the forums. Oh, okay. So, like, that's a clear-cut example of they don't like me, so they twist a rule. There were many other people that went on the forums and said, hey, actually, here's other, here's 50 other, if you just search the word pothead, here's, like, 80 other people in the last month that have made a post to say that. You didn't ban them. How come you banned Kai? And, uh... They all caught like a, a oh you got a two day ban for questioning our authority or whatever. It's like okay, okay, whatever. Like it's very clear that their moderators are poor. Their moderators are suboptimal, and you've just given them a massive weapon to use and abuse as they will. That I think is unfortunate. Um But yeah, and, and as far as also, for them to ban you, if it's a permanent ban, that they banned you before they even announce that that's the rule, that's kind of weird. Uh, but it, it seems very much like what Frontier is looking for right now is sort of an echo chamber of, we want the people that say what we want to speak, and we want everyone else to be silent. And I think that that's not healthy, because I think the people that are pointing out criticisms, again... The people that are like, I want to murder you and your dog and your wife. Absolutely. Yes, that is way out of line. The people that are like, fuck you and die. That is way out of line. Um, you know, and that's that's a, uh, that's a thing that they should absolutely take action against. I've seen one guy in the comment section of this show while we've been doing this live in the live chat has said the same thing like three or four times being obnoxious. He's saying, hey, man, you called them liars like a week or two ago on your show. Yeah, uh, I'm not on their forums. I'm not tweeting them. I'm I'm a free fucking citizen of the world. I can say what I want to say in on my show. I'm not posting it on their forums. I'm not tweeting them saying it. I'm not I'm not messaging them directly. I'm not making any threats against them. I, I can I, you can have an opinion. Um, and and for the little white knights with your little fucking chivalrous hearts that you can't stand that. Dude, you're going to have to get over it. You have the right to your opinion. I have the right to mine. Chig. I, I'm just reiterating what you said just a little bit, but just felt I wanted to voice in because it is. 
it, it, it's frustrating because you know on the one side you know they're being bombarded with with garbage my guess is you know they're members of god knows how many discords and they're getting pms from just you know you know a lot of this community is really really good but there is a good segment segment of the community that is very toxic and i'm guessing that it's been piled on i mean uh, you me uh tweaked i mean tweak uh, was like the king of the white knights for a while and he's even soured so bad so you know that you know people that were on the fence have got to just be just a-holes um but as you said this the moderators have always been <laughs> If they just don't like you, they can voice an opinion as a moderator, but then you can't voice an opinion opposite of that, or you'll get banned or or shoved to the side. So Arf coming out with this official like notice and then putting it out, you know, as a locked forum post where people can't discuss and ask questions, you know, like where is this line? You know, what what can we do? Yeah, these moderators are just going to I don't know. I, I avoid the forums as much as possible, even more so now. Just wanted to add that. Anybody have anything else for Salt before? Because Katie said she wanted to go last. So I I don't have anything with Salt. I just, I'm sorry if it seems salty. I was just saying I respect and agree with Art's post to the extent of if it's a threat or if it's whatever. But if it's just that, like with Tweaked, where he just said something they didn't agree with, that's a problem for me. Does anybody have anything else for salt? I'm good. Katie, you're up. Um, thank you. Um, keeping it with with the forums, really, actually. Um, so there was a forum thread um about elite streamers giving up on elite lately, um, and I wanted to kind of, I want to present this as a kind of anti salt, if anything, just to throw a spanner into the works. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of cynicism in that thread especially aimed at YouTubers and streamers about, about the reasons for um, playing other games at the minute. And uh, first of all, I want to say that nobody wants, nobody wants like elite to, it, it, this is idea I think that, that we want elite to fail. We want as many great space games to play as possible. Like we want elite to succeed, to succeed. We want No Man's Sky to succeed. We want Star Citizen to succeed. Because that just gives us more options, it gives you more options. Who doesn't want more great space games? Um, I I weighed in with my reasons, and my reasons are very uh, are not even Odyssey related per se. Um, Obsidian Ant, by the way, I uh, love you. Honestly, your your discourse, your in that thread, and your reasoning and your your responses, outstanding, absolutely outstanding. But there's a lot of tin hat theorizing that that youtubers are all being paid off by chris roberts it's funny how we've all got referral codes to use when every star citizen player has a referral code it's part of their their online profile um i just wanted to say that i am not giving up on elite either like our skunk works are still going we still hold our events we just are taking kind of breaks that they're exploring other games because because they're out there and because we're, it's new to us anything new is going to going to be exciting and different and now whilst it while there are problems with Ali, it's the right time to do that I, I, I agree with you on the the mods by the way i think they editorialize as in you know they give opinion way too often a kind of kind of inflammatory opinion that that if you respond to they they consider that you know, an, uh, an infraction. But I just want to say to the people in that thread that I can see the cynicism that you have towards streamers, most of whom, I know you consider them casual, most of whom have played the game a lot more than than you would think or, or have achieved things that you, that you maybe are not aware of. Just have faith a little that they love the game, we love the game, as much as you do, we're players of the game. We love the game as much as you do, and we want the game to succeed. We want all of the space games to succeed. Right now, though, there is <laughs> there is a there's a difficulty, and we're hoping that it gets past that. Really, really, we are. Um, but just have a little more faith in the humanity of these people. You are talking about other human beings. 
um not just not just faces on on youtube um yeah that's it that's, it's, that's what I had. it's kind of funny that the same little white knights that will say you have to understand that the people at frontier are human beings and you need to treat them as such which okay fair that's right will completely ignore their own words when it comes to trashing any content creator because they make a choice right now to expand their horizons or to do something to express themselves honestly in a mm -hmm. way that you don't like. It's like, wait a second, wait, like at least just, just be intellectually honest to say that it goes both ways or that it doesn't go either which way, but like double standards, not cool. Um, yeah. So let's, 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 let's close the salt zone.